Alrighty. That was pretty dramatic. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing in Full Media Part 37 Dreams. In today's episode, we set out to complete a first pass restructuring of our 3443R composition, and we did that. And then we were going to, well, and begin a line diagram and energy chart. So we actually did a de facto line diagram here, and this shows how we restructured it. We structured it into in introduction and three main sections, which we can show you here. I can show you here. We also um, Labeled the figures with the functional notes they ended on. For example, this ends on a minor mode. Uh, we are now counting by the half beat. So this is in the last composition, we were counting by the 16th note beat. Now we're counting by the half note beat. And we basically confirmed that our sections are all divisible by three. And we started an animation, which you just saw a part of. So what we're going to do is show you, play for you, the composition as it currently stands in full score of glory. Here we go. So, what we really noticed about this in particular, uh, which is very visible when you look at it, the piano playing, is that, for example, up here, you kind of have to show everything. When you show all the parts together that are being played, you are getting... Um, the piano chords are up here in the C4 range. The French horn tends to be down here, and the contrabass tends to be down there. So, so, and because of that, the melody, or what we call the backbone, is dominating the chords because they're deep and resonant and the piano is kind of way up there in the C4 register. But you can still hear it, you can still hear it. And so it's adding that harmonic richness and texture and it's not, and it's not dominating it. And then there are certain sections where it really, the sweetness of the chords stand out. And sometimes the bitter sweetness so that concludes today's stream. Our ideas for next time are to, um, we're thinking about working with multiple octave cadence arpeggios. Because we have French horn way down here and contrabass way, way down there and piano up here, we're, we're already getting a two octave spread. So what if we took the cadences and, 
and da 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 way up there and see what that sounded like. We also would like to continue with the score and animation and begin a line di or extend our line diagram with an energy chart to uh, help us tune the composition. You can kind of see here this has already been shown. These are the minor modes, these are the urges, and these are the neutrals. And that it is telling an energy story already in that it's going from tonic, tonic to uh, dominant, subdominant, ambivalent, and then kind of ending up back on tonic. So that's a, that's a very traditional energy story. So thank you for your time and attention. We look forward to seeing you in the next episode. Do come back. And as always, keep on streaming.